Thursdays with Jesus. This is our 18th installment of these series of lessons as we're exploring the, the teachings of Jesus. And we're right here in the middle of Jesus' mountain sermon. Let's listen to Jesus this morning. Let's focus here in Matthew chapter 6. We'll read verses 5 through 7 together. Matthew chapter 6, look at verse 5. It says, when you pray, you're not to be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on the street corner, so they may be seen by men. Truly, I say to you, they have the reward of fool. But you, when you pray, go into your inner room, close your door, and pray to your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Verse 7 says, And when you are praying, do not use meaningless repetition as the Gentiles do, for they suppose that they will be heard for their many words. You know, when you pray, Jesus says, as the people of God, um, we must pray. He, he doesn't say if we pray. He expects that we are going to pray. Uh, very similar to what he says in verse 2, when you give to the poor, not if, but, but when. When you pray. Brethren, we, we must pray. What, what a great blessing and privilege it is as the people of God to have the ability to have the ear of our creator and sustainer of this universe, a, a God of all power, a God of infinite knowledge, a God who sees all, is everywhere. You couple all of that with a God who loves and a God who cares. He wants us to pray. Jesus says, when you pray, again, not if you pray, but when you pray, be authentic. Jesus says, don't be like the hypocrites. A hypocrite is an actor. They, they say one thing and do another. They, they hold others to standards they are unwilling to hold themselves to. They're fake. Jesus describes the hypocrites of his day as those who, who love to be seen of men. They love the stage. They love the praise of men. And Jesus says here, they have their reward in full. The praise of men is, after all, that's what they want. That's the reward. Yeah, I was reminding recently, there, there are still those who, who love the stage. There, there are still those that love to be seen by men, love the praise of men. And brethren, we constantly need to examine our hearts, examine our motives, be authentic. Jesus says, instead, when you pray, much like when you give, as Jesus addressed earlier in the chapter, go into your inner room, close that door, and you pray to God in secret. And understand that God who sees in secret, he will reward you. And also, Jesus says, when you pray, don't, don't use meaningless words. Uh, this is about your heart. It isn't a show. It's about you and God. It's not about length. It's not about some advanced vocabulary. Just pour your heart, your praise, gratitude, your needs. Pour it out to God. Next week, we're going to explore Jesus' instruction on prayer, how to pray. But certainly, here's some excellent reminders for all of us. Be authentic. Remember who you're praying to. And, let's, and let it be between you and God. Would you pray with me? As we begin our day, our Father in heaven, Father, bless us this day. Father, we're so thankful for all that you do for us. Father, be with the hearts, be with the weedmans as they care for their loved ones, be with Marion. We ask you to continue to bless her, Father. Father, we ask you to be with all of those who are hurting amongst us. Continue to be with Jenny and be with all of those, Father, who lost loved ones. Continue to bless them, Father. Father, we ask you to be with our sister, Jeanette Branson, as she recovers from a fall. Father, we ask you to bless her. We continue to pray for Stephen's mother as she endures cancer treatments. Father, we ask you to be with Ellie, be with Dad, be with all of those, Father, that are struggling with cancer. Father, be with us through this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.